Now let me show you how to access the generic data file of all the router interface and the routing table. And before doing that, click File, then select Model Files, then click Refresh Model Directories. Refresh Model Directories will search the model directories and update the list of files. Now click File again, then click Open. In the project box, click the arrow down button, then select Generic Data File. Now scroll down and look for your last name love a rip IP addresses so okay I'm going to teach you how to read the generic data file for the IP addresses and it would be great if you get a pencil and paper then draw our network and as you trace the IP address on each interface write it down on the diagram that you draw on your paper you can also take a screenshot of our network and edit it on paint as you put the IP address in each interface on each router so I will give you an example so here's how to read we know that this is our SF router so the link between SF router and MB router 1 is the interface 10 with the IP address of 192.0.0.1 and for the SF router to LA router link that is interface 11 with the IP address of 192.0.1.1 and the loopback address for SF router is 192.0.2.1 and a loopback interface is the logical interface in a router which client used to communicate with the server in the same host okay go ahead and continue on putting the IP addresses of all the interface in each router into your network diagram and once done close the generic data files IP addresses then click file click open then click the arrow down button in the project field then select or click generic data file then look for your last name lab 8 rip IP routes then click OK this window contains the routing table of the rip protocol so we scroll down and you may notice that the name of the router has an extension of that IP on them that means the destination IP addresses below are directly connected routers so scroll down further and you will see that the router name has an extension of that RIP that means that the router used RIP protocol to reach the neighboring routers so let us check one of the routing tables here for SF router that rip and let me show you how to check the number of hops for example on on the third row the one that has interface 5 with the IP address of 192.0.5.0 actually that is the destination address and it says that it has a metric of 2 that means it has two hops and it says that the next hop is 192.0.0.2 so let us trace 192.0.0.2 as the next hop and the destination address of 192.0.5.0 so I'm going to open my network diagram so the next hop is going to MB router 1 which has 192.0.0.2 and the SF router is trying to reach 192.0.5 network and that belongs to the LA router so let us count the number of hops so from the SF router the next hop would be 192.0.0.2 which is the MB router 1 and the following route would be the 192.0.3 network which is the MB router 2 and MB router 2 is actually directly connected to LA router which has 192.0.5.1 so you're not going to count that hop you're only going to count the hop where in the links that the router are trying to reach are not yet directly connected to the destination network address. It's coming now. And I don't know much, but I found you here. And I can't know wait another year. I don't know where you're coming from, but you're coming soon. To a kid from walking. Wave California Come on and we'll see Like we were free I stole around fly by us Come on and we'll try One last time On for the floor One more time to find you And here we go 
There's nothing left to choose